The Schmino was designed by Captain Norm Ziegler of Sanibel Island, Florida, specifically for catching snook off the beach near his home. It is similar to an earlier fly, Mark Sosin's redfish blossom. The Schmino is a relatively easily tied fly that we teach in our beginning fly tying classes. A recipe for the fly, as well as a link to our basic fly tying playlist, which provides instruction on the techniques used for the Schmino, can be found in the video description. Start the thread and lay down a base for the eyes at the front of the hook. I'm going to tie in some mono eyes about half a hook gap behind the eye of the hook. This will give me plenty of space at the front when it's time to finish the fly. Tie the mono eyes in and secure them in place. I use a series of figure eight wraps as well as locking wraps in front of and behind the eyes. Be careful not to pull so tightly or do so many wraps that you fold the eyes around the hook. Two or three sets of figure eight wraps followed by locking wraps is plenty. Wind to the back of the hook just in front of the bend and tie a half hitch. This is where the marabou will be tied in extending off the back of the hook. Select a nice marabou feather with lots of fluff at the end. Position the marabou so it extends about two hook shank lengths back from the tie-in point. Pinch the feather right at the point where you want to tie it in between your thumb and pointer finger and push it down onto the hook shank so you are pinching both the hook and the feather. Bring the thread around and up, trapping it between your thumb and finger. Continue around the marabou, then pull firmly to pull the loop of thread you just captured down to lock the marabou in place. Do it again, then follow with a few locking wraps. Next, pull the butt end of the feather up at an angle and cut with the scissors parallel to the hook shank to form a taper. This will give your finished fly an evenly tapered body. Wind the trim marabou ends down with open thread wraps. Don't worry about binding all the loose pieces down. They'll be covered up anyway. Work your way up towards the eye, then back again, finishing with a thread just in front of the tie-in point for the marabou tail. Take three full-length pieces of flashaboo accent, double them over the thread, and slide them down the thread and into place on the close side of the fly. Place a few thread wraps over the strands to fold them back and lock them in place. Trim the ends slightly longer than the marabou. Do the same thing on the other side. The three doubled over pieces of flashaboo accent will give you six strands on each side of the fly. Now it's time to create the estaz body. Find the end of your estaz and strip some of the loose fibers off of the core. This will make it easier to tie in and will make the tie-in point less bulky. Lay the now bare core across the hook shank with the long end extending over the back of the hook and tie it in. Advance the thread up to the front of the hook and open wraps. Cross under the mono eyes to avoid bending them down. Put a few tight wraps behind the hook eye and then a half hitch to secure the thread. Wrap the estaz in close wraps up the hook towards the eye, covering the hook shank as you go. You can do this either by spinning a rotary vise towards yourself while holding onto the estaz, or by passing the estaz from hand to hand to spin it around the hook. As with the thread, make sure you cross under the eyes. Crossing over, the flexible mono eyes can fold them down. When you get to the front of the hook, just behind the hook eye, drop the bobbin over to the other side of the hook to wrap around the estaz. Do this two or three times. Make sure you pull the thread wraps tight. Then trim the estaz off, leaving a small tag end. Estaz has a lot of loose fibers that tend to get in the way when finishing a fly. To get them out of the way, Form a finger triangle with your thumb and the first two fingers of your materials hand. Slide the triangle over the hook eye and back onto the front of the hook, pulling the fibers back and trapping them as you go. With the loose fibers more or less controlled, finish binding down the tag end of the estaz. Continue wrapping to form a thread head, then whip finish. If you're not yet confident in your whip finish, tie a half hitch first to make sure the fly doesn't come unraveled, then continue with your whip finish. If there's room, I like to add a second whip finish just in case. Make sure the whip finish is fully tightened. Then trim the thread and finish the fly with head cement. Intended to be a combination shrimp and minnow, as its name suggests, the schminnow resembles both well enough to catch plenty of fish. You can modify the sink rate with the addition of bead chain or lead eyes. Tie it in whatever color or size you prefer for both fresh and saltwater species. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe.